Hi, I'm Eric Sackpole, and it's October 13th, 2012, and I'm going to show you how to put together the OpenROV kit. Um, so there's already a quick video that ended up on YouTube, just kind of how these get assembled in general. But this time I'm actually going to glue them together and give comments on uh, little you know, nitpicky things about how to do it best. Um, there's kind of three main sections here. Um, they're the parts that are used for the inner structure um, that you mount the motors and things like that onto. Um, there's the stuff for the uh, electronics chassis, which is right here. And then we've kind of put the, the other spare parts, I guess you could say, um, around it. Um, these things are for the battery packs, although we'll only use the, the four. Um, we're not going to use these pieces. Um, and then there's also some end cap pieces that, that come in that are made out of blue. Um, so for now, we're going to focus just on this section, the structure for the ROV, and I'll show you how to put it together. Um, before we start, I just want to show you uh, how we use this glue. Um, this is this weld on uh, acrylic cement, it's called. Uh, you should be able to buy it online. Um, there are a lot of places that sell it, um, but it's a really great material. It's a really inviscous material, so you can use a syringe like this, and I'll show you how to do it later, um, where you just basically inject it into the interface between two pieces of plastic, and it, through the capillary effect, um, wicks into, uh, into the interface. Um, so, first step is when you get it, you'll have to open it. We've already done that. Um, the syringes work as kind of a squeeze bottle, and the way you hold glue in is you squeeze it so that when you let go, it's sucking air in, and that way you can hold it upside down and air bubbles will just bubble up, um, and then when you stop allowing it to expand, that's when glue will come out. You really want to be careful that it's always pulling outward um, as you're applying glue, otherwise it'll shoot out a, a jet of, of glue that you can't stop. Um, so first let's fill it. And I'll just do that here. Um, I always am kind of curious about how much I should put in. Um, if I put in too much, it can, might go to waste. If I put in too little, I might run out in the middle of a job. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Um, these syringes are really good. I've um, seen people do other methods where they use um, uh, like an actual medical type of syringe um, and other things like that. But this has worked the best for me. Um, if we find a good place to get these, maybe we'll put a link up on our website. Um, but right now, you'll just have to search on Amazon. Okay. So, uh, right. I've got my syringe filled with uh, acrylic cement. I've got my pieces. Um, the first thing I like to do after I've organized it um, is put the basic stuff together. I usually start with these um, parts. Uh, they're going to help support the motor uh, structure. Um, basically, I grab the vertical motor... Um, mount. I've actually named these uh, correctly, but for now I'm just going to kind of call them by slang terms. Um, so these three parts and then this part uh, goes together um, on this piece here. You can see they just kind of fit like that. So um, now I'm going to make my first application of the glue um, and we'll see how that goes. So I'm kind of trying to hold it in a way that the camera can see it. I guess normally when you're doing this on your own it's a little easier. Um, so you can actually kind of see through the side of the plastic that it's a light color um, where the interface is. And as you put glue in, you'll see that the color changes darker, indicating that glue is wicked in there. So uh, before I put the glue in, I squeeze this close. I'm letting air gargle into it. You can see the bubbles coming up. And I'm just going to start applying it around. I'm looking for those light spots to go away, indicating that glue has gotten in between them. Um, and let's see. Um, I don't recommend doing this in front of a camera if you're trying to do it well. <laughs> um, and it usually takes just a few moments to, to um, react. This isn't a sticky glue. If you got it on your finger, you wouldn't feel any sort of stickiness or tackiness. Um, it, it's really just something that reacts with the acrylic and bonds the acrylic together that way. So I'm doing this, I'm kind of looking around as the, the glue is in, making sure that it's gotten into all the little spots. Occasionally I might see a little spot that I've missed. So I'll kind of go in and just put it against that edge, squeeze a little bit out. So it's looking pretty, pretty good. Um, so, okay, I'm going to keep on going here. Um, next is the uh, is these um, handles. Um, so there's three of them. They all kind of go together. Um, the way I like to do this is I make a kind of step where they're off center and um, I put glue in between the interface. Um, but having the step kind of guides the needle. So I can put it in here. You can't really see it with the camera, but I can see that glue is getting in between. And then you want to be kind of quick. You don't have too much time. Once you've done that, 
you push them together, I just kind of look with my eyes and feel with my fingers that they're lined up with each other. Um, and this is probably still um, reacting a little bit. It's, it's still, um, I guess you could say drying, even though it's not really drying. But it's, it's solid enough that I can add the third piece now. Squeeze first, apply glue here. Um, you may notice on the camera also that uh, a lot of these pieces have kind of a, a messy um, texture to them. That's because we haven't cleaned them yet. Um, um, when you get them, you'll you might notice that some of your uh, plastic pieces are a little bit messy from the laser cutting process. Um, and what you can do is just take acetone and a rag and uh, clean them up. Uh, acetone or alcohol um, or anything like that should work. Um, they seem to glue together pretty good uh, as is, but um, it's always nice to, to have nice clean parts. Um, there's one other thing for this bit. Uh, because this is a handle and it's nice to have something uh, round to hold on to, uh, this is okay, but a lot of times I take a piece of sandpaper and just sand around these corners here just so that when I wrap my fingers around it's a little bit better. Um, so, uh, okay, we've got those bits. Um, the next piece is this that kind of fits into the slot like that. Um, and so you can see it's kind of an uh, easy way to glide in here. Um, that's going to fit on this main um, top piece. Uh, you can see that these uh, notches fit into the grooves perfectly like that. Um, I'd recommend putting a piece of paper or something like that under this. Sometimes I use um, wax paper. Um, if you can lift it up while you're gluing it, it's better because otherwise the glue is going to come through these slots and get stuck onto the paper. You'll end up with paper bits stuck onto the plastic. So I have this kind of underneath, but I hold it above the paper. Um, and I'm going to go along these edges. Here we go. Just going along that. Going along here. If I were really prepared, I would have had like precise things to say for each of these steps, but I'm, I'm kind of narrating it as I go, so hopefully it'll work out. Doing great. I'm putting a little bit here. Um, I like to, uh, for this part, because when people are holding the handle, it's holding the whole weight of the ROV, so I like to make sure that um, this piece is kind of pushed against one side or the other, um, just so that it's kind of more structural. I think generally, as long as you're pushing against it pretty firmly, it'll glue into a solid position. Um, and you can see that some glue is leaked out here. Um, generally, it's nice to just let the glue kind of dry up, evaporate on its own, but you can wipe it with a towel. Um, to do this really cleanly, I might even put like masking tape over the, over the parts that I don't want to get glue on. Um, but this part never gets seen, so that's probably okay. Um, next, this whole piece, you can see, kind of nicely fits um, into place here. And once again, I can start putting glue there. So just start going along the edges. You can see the glue kind of wicking into spots. Um, in situations like this, it is easier to just have it against the piece of paper, but I'm gonna to wanna to occasionally lift it up and move it just so it doesn't stick to one piece of paper. This is certainly kind of the quick and dirty way to glue it, um, mostly because we don't want to make a really long YouTube video, but they're kind of obvious ways of um, doing this more cleanly or, or more organized. I'm just making sure I get glue in every little interface between every piece. And then um, I used to uh, put these bits on before doing this, but it turns out that you can just attach them afterward. Um, next comes these. Uh, uh, electronic tube holders. So the same thing as before, I'm going to make kind of a step um, and it kind of goes like that. Uh, I'll uh, wait until the next chapter of this video to put these in and show you the last steps before, um, uh, before the entire structure is ready. So those go together. I'm just making sure that everything lines up. I've gotten a little glue on my fingers, but that's okay. I can wipe it off later.